All right, I will be doing a simple ragdoll and I'm going to be using this for a another tutorial. So, um again, I know there's other tutorials I believe that you know have this same thing, but I kind of wanted to just do it so it would be easier for people to follow along on the same on their same channel. So, um again, get your puppet out all right what we're going to do here is we are going to um, L1 X we're going to scope in and we're going to highlight everything and what I found out is a bug and you've seen how it just all of a sudden snapped to all the parts I think it's because I clicked on this purple part over here with these two lines so I'm gonna go back and if you notice if I do it this time and the only reason I'm showing this is because if somebody else notices it oh you know they can't understand why because what happens is if you do have that if you do click on that and this goes away for some reason you can't clone it I have no idea why but that's what happens and yeah it, the grouping goes away oh so we did forget we missed one part so I'm gonna hit back I missed the neck so yeah so that's good you can actually like make sure you didn't miss anything all right so now we'll group it and now I will um, exit and then what you can do is oh, see how they're still grouped so you want to go back in you want to drag this guy over and then hit L1 circle that will ungroup it now he's is is by himself all right so so what we need to do is we need to go back into the grouping I mean I can scope back in and then highlight everything So just make sure you have everything, move them over. All right, I guess, yeah. So now we can go, oh, to go to the physical properties, it's L1 square on the puppet, and then go to physical properties, and then you want to hit collidable. All right, and then to see if it works, you can just hit um, the play button by hitting in on the right analog stick. All right, so we're going to see how this is actually um, working. So, well, it is working, but <laughs> show you how it actually can be used when the player dies. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get a controller sensor. You're going to scope in on this guy. Um, and to open up this, it's L1X. And you're going to want a destroyer and an emitter all right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug this destroyer so object destroyed into the emitter so and what we can do actually we don't even need the controller sensors I'm just going to use it from here so actually we'll put this in here so it's even easier to see all right so what we're going to use is we're going to use square actually no no we don't want to do that we do want to leave it there so if you want to just reverse just hit left on the d-pad it will make you go backwards all right so um so what I want to do is I want to scope back out and I want to hit, I want this to power this, but you need to go to the imp and you need to have it remote controllable. All right. So, and, um, uh, my bad. So you want to open this emitter L1 square. 
you want to bring this down to zero. You want to emit once. Time between emits doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to. And then I'll explain what everything does. Um, all right. So now once this guy is over here, you want to drag him in. Actually, yeah. Drag this thing to it's literally right on top of the guy. All right. So what's going to happen here is when you hit square, it's going to destroy this, which is going to make it just go basically, you know, not exist anymore. And then it's going to admit that guy over here in the ragdoll effect. So what you're going to do is if you want to see where what I did learn is if you shut this off, it'll show you where the guy was so you can change the properties if you needed to or highlight scope into this guy um, that comes in handy for other stuff um, but anyways let's see how it works all right so I'm gonna just hit square and see it fall it like basically seamlessly you don't even see the um, guy disappear or be destroyed and then it goes into that ragdoll um, I wonder if I was like possessed him and then I hit square. Yeah, you can just, yeah. So, I mean, that's a very simple way of doing your ragdoll. And uh, in my other tutorial, I will be, you know, using that. So, uh, again, if you like, like, uh, subscribe, you know, comment, please. That would be great. Um, Again, I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.